citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the universe. I'm Ashley Scava. And I'm Jeff Kanata, and it is time for headlines. Our first of which is Microsoft's announcement that the HoloLens has entered developer pre-order. There are a few caveats, though. One, you have to receive an invite from them to pre-order one. And two, it's going to cost you 3000 bucks. Ouch. Here's the good news. If you did get accepted, you'll have some fun testing out a handful of apps and games announced on Microsoft's blog, including Skype for HoloLens, a game called Fragments, where you solve a crime that plays out in your own living room, and even RoboRaid, which we saw a demo of at a Microsoft event last October. Devices start shipping at the end of March, and we can't wait to see what kinds of innovative ideas developers have for HoloLens now that dev kits are coming out. This is kind of what changed the game for Oculus, is getting it out into the hands of developers and really having people run wild with it. So yeah. I know it's, it's kind of out of the price range of average people, and you, you really can't even get it. And that's a good thing, I think, because now we're going to yeah. see the possibilities with this device. And that's going to make everybody want to buy it, right? I that's hope so. It makes me want to buy it. All right, our second story is about Sony. They are launching an interesting futuristic universal remote that actually uses e-ink as its entire screen. The Hue is, or the Japanese version of the name is pronounced Haosu, is a product of a kind of internal think tank at Sony called First Flight, where employees are encouraged to pitch ideas that could become real products. Hue is, is the first product out of First Flight. The e-ink screen would be fully and truly customizable for each user. It would use much less battery over time while still displaying your controls and potentially connect to Internet of Things devices in the future. The price? About 250 US dollars. Unfortunately, this remote is limited to Japan for now, so no word if we're actually going to see this remote come to consumers uh, here in the States. This thing looks really cool, and it shows another example of how e-ink is really a revolution right now. We're seeing it on shoes. We're seeing it on all, all kinds of stuff. I think it's awesome. I do, too, and I think this is a great idea because universal remotes can't predict what types of devices you have, so to be able yeah. to customize buttons for every single thing that you own is, is pretty amazing. Uh, so what story should we talk about? HoloLens. Lens. I think we got to talk about HoloLens. Oh, man, AR. We talked a lot last week about VR. We did. But AR is sort of happening now as well, and I think we should we should talk about it on Thursday. Well, if you guys want to get in the conversation, you can use the hashtag HeyTD over on Twitter. Yeah, just shout at us using that hashtag on Twitter, and then we'll incorporate the things you say on our Thursday episode. And with that being said, it's time for our Photographer of the Day. Today's photographer of the day is Hari, who took this photo on their iPhone 5S. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. Hari wrote in and said, hello, TD. I clicked this photo from my iPhone 5S during one of the chilly mornings we had in Virginia during the month of February. You can see frosty snowflakes on my car window. I clicked it from inside the car. It's unedited. I hope you like it and include it in the photographer section on Tomorrow Daily. Thanks, Hari. That is extraordinary. Look at that. Really, really artful picture, I it's think. It's so cool. Like, yeah. I just, I love the whole, you know, all of the frost is in focus and the trees are blurry. I mean, this is such a rad picture and high fives to you, Hari. The one thing I don't understand, Ashley, is that uh, February is cold? February is, well, it's colder for us. <laughs> is it? Because it's 85 <laughs> degrees outside right now. It's not 110, which means it's cold. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't understand that kind of world. <laughs> you guys can send in your photography too. Just email us, tomorrowatcnet.com. Yes, uh, make sure you tell us what device you took it on and give us a little explanation of what the picture is. Tell us how to pronounce your name and also give us permission to use the photo on the show. You can also find us on social media. We're all over the shop. Uh, that is it for today's show. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird, wonderful science fact, mean science fiction. But until then, be good humans. Be good humans. Bye, guys. Oh. Oh.